do I love DRM on downloadable content. Yep. A damn fine rescue. It's nice that you can scroll through this without using the page up, page down keys. Yes, quite. Though the menus, I think, are probably still far from optimized for PC. Yeah. Well, I found my house. That's so where Zero lives. This is where Zero is gonna live during his stay in Sanctuary. He's he he even has some uh, uh sniper holes, murder holes. I like how this game is even more stylized than the first. Like, the sharpness of the drawn effect. Like, on a lot of guns in the first game, it still had, like, realistic-looking textures on them, yeah. e even with the black outline. <coughs> Boy, am I glad you showed up. No. Talk to Ririth. Hey, girl. Hey, I got a job for you. I don't believe you. So Lilifax is starting a cult, which is fun. Want to break some stuff? <laughs> so I kind of inspired a cult, and not the fun ask you for autographs kind. I need you to infiltrate the children of the Firehawk and find out if they're planning anything shady. I do it myself, but I'm kind of worried they'd freak out if they saw their god in person. Go talk to the cult's leader, Incinerator Clayton. Sounds like a nice guy. Clayton. How goes the mission? Oh, uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Oh. She had another one. I thought she had another one. I only saw one. Okay, if you say so. See, it's even protected. It's bulletproof. <laughs> I was making sure it was. That was for your sake. Zero appreciates it. Round two. Aw. Why can't I crash? <laughs> this is the summer home. Uh-oh. We should start a travel now. That was great when you blocked my shots. I do my best. So, Zero, Gage, and Death Trap were all basically best friends, right? Yeah, pretty much. I can see them getting along really well. Oh, yeah. They're all Vault Hunters. They're all sentient biological life forms. Except for Death Trap. What? You're crazy. 
Looks normal to me. I want to say probably not, though. I don't know what you're talking. You're crazy. <laughs> Maybe you're the robot. Well, I, I guess that's not... I could still keep a memory, I guess. Maybe even Gage is the from, robot. Even from... Unfeeling, unemotional. You know her... Hey, she feels... She now, how feels, could you say such a thing about Death Trap? She feels... He's one of the gang. The injustice of losing that science player... <coughs> She feels for the fact that everyone got covered in Marcy's guts. <laughs> but I guess when you knew you did destruct, you keep your memories, so I guess it would be possible for Death Trap to also. Oh, we're here again? Uh, it's not far. Yeah, I think this is the midget. Oh, yeah. Who's real excited? Hello, Clayton. I am Incinerator Clayton. I witnessed you enter the lair of the Firehawk and return yeah. unharmed. Yep. If you truly wish to serve our mother, you must pass a test. Use a fire weapon to send my brothers to the Eternal Plague. Then collect their ashes and return them to me. Huh. Burning people alive is mildly shady, but these cultists sound like they want it, which is weird. Do what he asks, I guess. I guess, whatever. And I'm guessing we got... I don't have any fire. Uh, I have one fire. I don't. Well, just wait until I light them on fire, I guess. Open up! And then let them die from the dot. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir, are you? Goliaths turn badass when they kill other enemies. Goliaths do what? That's trap. That's burning him. Shut up, Lilith. Jeez, Lilith. I just finished. A fire weapon for the last few shots. We need one more. Oh, I thought that was the last one. Uh. Oh, I hear him now. <laughs> I got it. They all burned. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, wait, the chest. Uh, uh oh. What? Oh, jeez, Lord. 
Oh yeah, there's a chest up there. This SMG wins the day. Is that the one that that guy drops? Uh, no. <laughs> this is the anarchy that isn't called an anarchy. Uh. It's accurate. That's nice. It doesn't lose accuracy. Accurate multi-shot guns are awesome. <laughs> That's what that my revolver that I used forever was in the first one. I have a lot of issues climbing this ladder. Jump on the box first. Pistols. Pistols. Good. Okay. Not so much. Alright, back to Clayton. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Clayton, all is done is asked. Whoops. Oh, Oh, did you choose a thing? I don't think there was anything to choose. There was. Er... Sounds like you're in. Let me know if they're up to... Unfortunate news, Torch. There are idolaters among us. Children who have betrayed their one true mother. The Firehawk. They follow a heathen demigod known as Torch. Lord, destroy this pretender and all those who follow him. Who cares if they worship somebody else? Look, just play along. Clayton needs to trust you completely. If they've been doing anything that we need to stop, that's the only way you'll hear about it. You have two ampersands on your face. That's uh, why. I... This one's a jog. Can you even do that, Mister? <laughs> Ooh, secrets. It's not a secret. I did it. I don't understand Goliaths. Neither do I. I don't know if I want to. They're pretty horrible. And I disappear. A ghost amidst the combat. Preparing to strike. Why can't I get a crit on this spider dude? Bollocks! Go get him, Death Trap. He gets massive melees on that butt. Goodbye. Oh, he's done. Doink. Doink. Damage bonus is (laughs) 
Oh dear. Scorch. <laughs> Smile, let's smile. smile. This cult is. I gotta admit, seeing them kill that false god for me was kind of flattering. Ugh, I'm a bad person. Freaking cults. Freaking cults. Silly pagans. I guess back to Clayton. Clayton. Aren't sun shafts pretty? Oh, you mean a god rays? Excuse me? I hate it when people call them god rays. It's like the dumbest name for it. It's like, why would you call something different than what they are in real life? They're sun shafts. Exactly. Whoa! It's okay. Money! You know how uh, if you run for a little while they start breathing heavily? Yeah. Zero doesn't. Just doesn't ever. He just he just goes. Zero doesn't breathe. He needs no oxygen. Oh no. <gasps> Hello. These people are weird, but they only seem to hurt themselves and that scorch guy. Maybe we should just leave him alone. Okay. I didn't. The burning of her favorite son, the midget known as Matchstick. You must take him to the soaring dragon in the southern shelf and incinerate him within the jaws of the great mechanical beast who dwells there. Sounds legit. Knock knock. Oh. I want to be the pain. I want to be with the fire. <laughs> Come on, buddy. <laughs> He's immolated more than a hundred people for the fire. Show me some green eggs. And the strength of his belief. A hundred people. Okay, that's impressive. I mean, they were probably just other members of the cult, right? Right? <laughs> Wait, where are we going? Uh, this way. Got to take him to the top of the mountain. Yeah, but he wants to be uh, lit on fire so bad. But the sneezes his pants. Or I guess we're taking him out. Out. Yep. Uh, apparently. Every time a midget burns himself alive. An angel. Not the angel. No. Gets its wings. 